last night, the Knicks, the Knicks with a tough loss. Listen, the Knicks are two and five. Is it time to worry? I don't think so. Not yet. They've had, they played some tough games. Played the defending champs last night. They went in to Milwaukee. They had a chance. It was a tough loss. Brunson played great. He scored 45 points. But the Knicks, you know, you're going to have to start winning some games. They're two and five to start. Now, it's only seven games. I get it. They play forever. This, the season is forever long. But they, they had a lead last night. Brunson played, you know, one of those heroic games where he's all over the court. He's doing everything for the team. He's leading the team. Mitchell Robinson had 15 boards. He didn't score a single point. Julius Randle's been nowhere to be found this season. Julius Randle's got to really, he's got to show the Knicks can't be good if Julius Randle is a no-show on, on any given night. And he's been a no-show for most of the games so far this year. He really hasn't given them anything. Because Brunson, we know Brunson can't carry this team, and Brunson's not good enough to carry an NBA team. At that position, at his size, he's, a, he's an excellent player. He's an all-NBA player. But he can't win sing, games single-handedly for you. And he tried last night. And he did everything he could. He scored 45 points. He played a great game. But they fell short to a better team. And now they're two and five. RJ Barrett seems to have been taking some steps forward this year so far. He seems to be coming into his own. But again, he's not the star that they need. You got to start winning some games. Now, if you look at the Knicks schedule, it, it, it does get a little bit easier. Like last night's not, a, not, a, not really a game that you think they're going to win, right? So they got the Clippers coming in with Harden. And, and don't get me started on Harden and the Clippers. Because how the Clippers trade for, for, for James Harden and think, and, and think it's not going to end up the same way every single stop that he's made has ended up is crazy to me. He is not a winner. He will never be a winner in this league. Never. He is a me guy. He will find something wrong with this team at some crucial point in the season, whether it be regular season or postseason, and he will ask out, and he will sit out, and he will not give it 100%, and he will mope on the bench with a puss on his face, and he'll be not, not happy, and then he'll get traded to wherever he goes, and somebody else will give him another chance. And it just it, it blows my mind that these teams keep giving him the chances. So the Clippers come into town at the Garden Monday night, then Wednesday, it's the Spurs at the Garden. That's a winnable game. And then Charlotte next Sunday. So these are now three winnable games that the Knicks have coming up this week. They need to win two of them. They can get two of them, get to four and six. Now you're okay. And they, now you can't be now two and eight after these because now, you, now, now you're 10 games in, you only won two. Then you start to worry. But as of right now, would I worry about the Knicks? I would not. It's very early, like I said. Still feeling themselves out, still feeling the, you know, getting, getting used to getting into the season.